Mary Blair's Unique Flair. Mary Brown Robinson loved color. Even her name had a color in it. All she wanted to do was paint. But her family didn't have money for such things. Still, sometimes they went with less to eat so Mary could buy paper and jars of colors. Mary was born into an artistic home. Her mother sewed clothing for a living, and her father had the most beautiful handwriting, and he was a dreamer. He dreamed of traveling. Mary was a dreamer, too. She dreamed of being an artist. When the family moved from Texas to California, Mary carried her sketchbook and her suitcase full of paints all the way to the Golden State. She loved to travel, just like her father. At school, Mary covered her textbooks with drawings. She entered contests and earned a spot at a school for the arts. She later married another artist named Lee and became Mary Blair. They vowed to make art, but it was hard to make a living as an artist. So Mary took a job with Walt Disney Studios. There, she painted a dog named Lady and the big emotions and ears of a little elephant named Dumbo alongside other artists. Despite how fun it was to work at Disney, it wasn't Mary's dream come true. So she quit. She preferred to stay home and paint. But when Mary heard that Walt was taking artists, including Lee, on a trip to South America, she asked Mr. Disney to take her along. Mary grabbed her suitcase full of paints and she flew from Burbank to Brazil, then to Argentina, Bolivia, Ecuador, and Peru. Mary had never seen such bright and happy colors before. And her favorite color, Blanco, the color of a blank piece of paper, the color of possibility. She immersed herself in the colors and cultures, and she painted them all. She especially loved painting the children she met. It was a small world after all. Then with her suitcase full, Mary went back to work for Walt, and this time it was a dream come true. She painted and painted. She painted colors you weren't supposed to paint together. Golden ochre and yellow, jade green and royal purple, hot pink and red rose matter. She painted an iris sky, an emerald world, a fuchsia sea, and a turquoise moon. Walt was a dreamer too, just like Mary. He dreamed of making feature-length films painted entirely by hand. Nobody believed it could be done, but Walt believed in magic and he believed in Mary. So Mary painted concept art for three of Disney's most beloved animated films, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, and Peter Pan. Then Walt asked her to create art for a brand new attraction at Disneyland. For Mary, this was the biggest and best project ever. It's a Small World was to feature kids from all over the world to celebrate unity, goodwill, and global peace. For inspiration, all Mary had to do was open her suitcase full of paints to create colorful, happily ever afters.